Good evening. Five days ago, on 6th March, at the Babayara Sports Stadium in Kumasi, on the occasion of our nation's 63rd Independence Anniversary celebration, I gave an update on the measures put in by government in response to the novel coronavirus disease, which has so far affected some 118,000 people across the world, resulted in the deaths of some 4,000 persons, and is wrecking havoc on the global economy. WHO has now characterized it as a pandemic. Prior to the address on 6th March, I had visited the Kutuka International Airport in Accra, isolation and treatment centers of the Tema General Hospital and the Rish Hospital in Accra to see at first hand part of our state of readiness to deal with the virus should any suspected case be recorded on our shores. The continuous monitoring of the pandemic has revealed a number of significant developments which require that the nation be brought up to speed on some additional measures we have to take to shore up our response mechanism. Fellow Ghanaians, as you may have heard in the news, Burkina Faso, our northern neighbor, has confirmed her first two cases of coronavirus infections. Togo to our east has one confirmed case, and Côte d'Ivoire to our west also has one confirmed case. Several countries in Europe, like Italy, where we have quite a large population of Ghanaians, have as a result of the surge in infections escalated dramatically their response to the outbreak. Thus far, our points of entry, such as our airports and land borders, continue to show satisfactory preparedness to screen all entrants into Ghana. The Ministry of Health has designated a quarantine facility that can hold infected persons, whilst regional hospitals are preparing isolation centers for holding suspected cases. Our country's two main research institutions, the Noguchi Memorial Institute and the Kumasi Center for Collaborative Research, which have the capacity to investigate and confirm or otherwise suspected cases of coronavirus infections have been very supportive in this regard. So far, they have found that the 57 suspected cases as of today, Wednesday, 11th March, have proved negative. However, it is imperative that we step up our preparedness to ensure that beyond these initial satisfactory measures, we adopt a whole of Ghana approach in adequately preparing for a possible hit within our borders. In order to do so, at my prompting, the Minister for Finance has made available the CD equivalent of 100 million United States dollars to enhance our coronavirus preparedness and response plan. That is to fund the expansion of infrastructure, purchase of materials and equipment, and public education. I have, as of yesterday, ordered the suspension of all international travels by public officials, except for critical assignments, which will have to be authorized by the chief of staff at the office of the president, all public officials are to remain within the jurisdiction until further notice. Video conferencing facilities and other technological tools are to be utilized whenever possible for international engagements. I've also instructed further enhancements of the protocols for inbound traffic from already affected countries. Fellow Ghanaians, all of us should as much as possible 
desist from all foreign travels, except the most critical ones, until there's a grip on the virus. The Minister of Information is leading a nationwide public education campaign on preventive measures that we must all observe to ensure that we're able to control the spread of infections should we record any infections in the country, which mercifully, so far, we have not, but which, by the law of averages, we shall. For the time being, a weekly update on the situation will be provided by the Ministry. There will be more frequent updates should the need arise. I want to reiterate, as I indicated on 6th March, and as the Ministry of Health has advised, that we have to revisit our custom of shaking hands and stop doing so completely. And we must cover our mouths when we cough or sneeze. This fight, fellow Ghanaians, cannot be that of government alone. It is for all of us. I urge the media to join this cause fully and help disseminate effectively information on the do's and don'ts of the disease. The information to be put out, however, must be that approved by health authorities and not just from any piece of literature found on the internet as false materials are already being spread from other jurisdictions. I appeal to civil society organizations, schools, universities, faith-based organizations, and places which harbor large gatherings, such as classrooms, lecture halls, meetings, parties and funerals, to put in place mechanisms to caution and assist patrons on basic preventive measures. I was encouraged to note that the two well-attended funerals I participated in over the weekend in Ashanti, people were observing the injunction against shaking hands. All of us need to adjust. Let us continue to observe the basic preventive behavior i.e. washing our hands regularly, using alcohol-based sanitizers, stopping shaking hands, and avoiding unnecessary close body contact. Government is an analyzing the potential impact to our economy of the virus and will trigger the relevant response to minimize it. We began to engage with the domestic pharmaceutical industry to assist in producing as much of the logistics required to prevent and combat the virus as is possible under the circumstances. Indeed, we must take advantage of this crisis to strengthen our domestic productive capacity so we can advance our self-reliance and reduce our dependence on foreign imports. Necessity, they say, is the mother of invention. We're grateful to the World Health Organization, WHO, the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund and Friends of Ghana for the assistance they have so far provided and for the pledges made in support of our fight. We shall continue to work with them to defeat the spread of the virus. I'm confident that together, with all hands on deck, will be successful in weathering this storm. May God bless us all and our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention.